Hello friends! So in this video I wanted to share with you another sketchbook tour. This is my second sketchbook and is a spiral notebook but is the only spiral notebook that I used. I felt very uncomfortable with the spiral and since I finished this one I never got another spiral notebook. On the cover of I've drawn the Deadly Hollows from Harry Potter with a white Posca. And yes, I think we can start the tour. I started this sketchbook on January 2017 and finished it on July 2016. The paper is 140 grams and it has a total of 124 pages. On the first page there's a quote from Fringe. If you haven't watched the show, I really recommend it. It's very trippy and once you start you have to finish it like the same day. <laughs> and the quote says, when did you lose your imagination, son? So in the sketchbook I was probably designing some character for a story but I can't remember what the story was so I can't give you much detail. Some cages, I don't remember why I made these cages. This is based on a mythological creature, I believe it's called a satire. And this is his name. Some color studies. You know, the meaning of colors when you build a character. I got these coloring sheets from a scroll box challenge, I believe. And they're really fun to fill in with markers. It's a very good marker paper. And this one is a watercolor piece. I think I found the reference photo on Pinterest, but I can't remember. Another character for that story. A mermaid that was contaminated with sea pollution. I really like her design and the way I made this part of the tail, where the fish wire wraps around their tail. Some poses studies. This is Castiel from Supernatural. Some hand studies, more hand studies. <laughs> A unicorn girl with flowers in her hair. It's really pretty actually. Another character for the story I was planning. Here I was trying to paint with coffee. And I made several other attempts, and I promise it, it gets better. Anyway, this was supposed to be Nar from League of Legends. Here we have Evelyn from League of Legends. I never played her, but something about her character made me want to draw her. And this is an original that I'm really pleased how it turned out. I really like the cross touching and the way the white shows up on the paper is very satisfying. I think in this period I was starting to use Draw with Jadza's app. He developed an app that gives you a random prompt and it was very useful. I used it several times in this sketchbook. 
this was from that same prompt up. Um, a landscape that I didn't finish. Some thumbnail of landscapes, but they're not very clear, so I won't bother describing them. This one was from that app too, and it's a shadow princess wielding an axe. And I didn't know how to make the shadow thing, so I used graphite pencils and smudged them with my finger. This is probably still from that same prompt up. A lady I saw while I was taking a walk. I really liked her, the color of her hair, and so I tried to recreate it when I came home. I was playing Life is Strange, and that butterfly was a recurring theme, and I really liked the the design of the butterfly, so I redrew it. Here I... I don't know if I was trying to make some dolls, because there was a, a short period where I was stuck in a, doll, in a custom doll loop, and I think as, at some point I decided I need to make some dolls for myself. And so these two were probably some ideas I had for the dolls. A girl that smells flower. I don't remember anything about this. Another lady with purple hair. I really like this color and the shadings with other kinds of purple was really fun. This one is another drawing from that prompt up. And the prompt said, draw a man with a sharp triangle head with a mullet and a red tailed braid on the side that has a scar over a cute button nose with closed eyes and has dry lips. I think I was trying to do a painting here, but I didn't finish it. This was a concept for a cosplay. I wanted to make an Enderman cosplay from Minecraft, but in the end I didn't make it. This fairy is really cute. I believe this is all with pencils. I believe this is all with pencils. And I really like the shading of, on there. There's a nice gradient. I probably should have drawn the skirt part differently because this doesn't make much sense to me now. An historical version of Toph from Avatar, the Legend of Aang. Some design sketches for some plushies. I wanted to start making plushies and maybe sell them, but I ended up making just one poro and that's it. <laughs> I never sold that poro. These were some sketches for a contest that was held by Draw with Jaza and it was draw level 1 of a character and then level 100 so this one some ideas for the level 100 I thought of giving him a spear that was engraved with Enochian writings and these were some poses studies for that contest. If you watch One Piece, you know these two. They were 
the friends of Frankie. I really like them, so I had to redraw them. This was the final piece for that contest I was participating. I really like how it turned out. Um, this was a mixed media. I, I used markers, I used watercolors and pencils. Especially here, I think. This is a portrait of Bibi from One Piece. I really like how she turned out. Other sketches. This was this was a character from the Skype arc. Here I watched a video of a content creator I really like. Her name is Danica Silt, and she made a tutorial on how she draws eyes. So I tried to incorporate her way to draw eyes, which I really like, into my drawings. A dancer. And these are some One Piece sketches. I made Chopper, Luchi and Zoro. My favorite character so far. <laughs> A Rapunzel fan art. I a Rapunzel fan art I made with watercolors, copics, and pencils. This was Aokiji from One Piece and another chapter. I really love chapter, it's my favorite. Perona from One Piece. This one is made mainly with watercolors and pencils. This was a quote from my art teacher at school. It says, if you don't understand it, it's art. Some sketches of poses, I guess. Marvel Studies. Here I think I found some reference photos of poses on Pinterest and tried to make characters based on the poses. It was very fun exercise and they came out very cute. This fairy with broken wings is adorable. Other fan arts from One Piece, another Perona and Sanji. Boa Hancock from One Piece. Ooh, Jinbe from One Piece. I, I'm very very pleased how this turned out. I didn't remember this came out so good. You can see, after I watched that video, you can see the difference. Yes, the difference between this one and this one. After I watched that video on the eyes, my style started changing, like, on its own. And I'm really pleased. I kind of want to color this in and make like something I can print, but I'm kind of afraid I will ruin it. Annie from League of Legends. I think this was the emo skin. A mermaid from One Piece. When I started the Fishman Island arc. Oto Ime Sama from One Piece and a random girl with flowy hair. Starfire from Marvel. I really like how I made her hair. Here I think I found some life drawing videos on YouTube and the model was dressed in this fan fantasy clothing on. 
and so I draw as I watch the video. And this was a sequel of this, but the model was dressed as a exotic dancer. And this is the end of the sketchbook. This is a ticket for a theater play that my friends were making and I went to watch them. So yeah, this is the end of this sketchbook. I hope you enjoyed watching this with me. This was very fun to look at all drawings of mine. Thank you for watching this far and I hope I will see you next week. Bye!